story time about the guy who was obsessed with me. We're gonna call him Ryan. Well, Ryan had a crush on me for a long time. And one night, one of our friends asked me to go to a party with them. And Ryan was gonna be the DD. And everything was good. We were all having a great time at the party. Well, Ryan and I went off to one of the bathrooms. And we started making out. And while we're making out, he goes, I really wanna fuck you, but I can't. And I'm just like, why? And he said it was because he couldn't get it up. And obviously he was embarrassed about it, which is understandable. So I left the bathroom and didn't plan on telling anybody about it. Until I walk over to a group of my guy friends and they're telling me that apparently Ryan told everybody that we fucked. So at that point, I didn't give a fuck and I told them what actually happened. AKA that he couldn't get hard. And apparently he was mad at me after that, but I had no idea. So he said, do you still want me to take you home? So I said, yeah. And now that he drove me home, he knew where I lived. And then I got a text from one of his friends, like for part two. My friends be like, how come you not famous yet? I'd be like, you didn't share my shit. How come you ain't shared it yet? That's what I don't understand. That's what I'm TikTok has really taught me a lot of ways to improve my makeup skills, starting with the infamous concealer hack. My contour placement has changed, and I don't apply my blush directly to the apples of my cheeks anymore. Doing these steps really lifted my face. Which side do you guys prefer? We gonna be a catfish today. And I mean all day. Our foundation's not gonna turn orange, it's not gonna cause more acne, and it's not full of ick. Let's get it. Take your sponge and foundation. Do half twist. Do some twisties on your face. Make sure you get your nasties. Ah! And you blend. Dab, 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 dab. Dab! Then you add concealer. Just two dabs. Cover your sins. The only bags you should have are designers, friends. Make sure it's waterproof because you sweat like a snowman in Florida and you're gonna cry your eyes out later because your kids are gonna drive you nuts. Throw some brows on to scare away your enemies. Let's look skinnier than we are, blush and bronze. Ooh, get your eyes in check. This is all I could get done because my little humans hate me. Only time for gloss. Still looks sexy though. <laughs> After foundation, apply contour to the cheekbone along the forehead, the jawline, and the nose. Apply highlight in the areas you want to enhance with the face sculpt brush. Don't forget the chin and underneath the cheekbone. Blend the forehead in a straight motion and the cheekbones in an angled motion. Use the nose sculpt to blend your nose contour and you can also use it to blend your cream highlight. Bake the side of the nose, underneath the nose, and underneath the cheekbone and leave it on for a few seconds. Contour the lips for some dimension and that's it. So today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine and I only use black owned products so let's get it. I start with Fenty 450, put that everywhere. Y'all don't be as rough as me, I really be beat in my face. Then I go in with Juvia's Place, color 10. I also mix it with color 3. And I place it like this just to really sculpt the face. You know, give me that. You know the vibe. So I just do that. Then I go in with the Black Opal Foundation Stick in Ebony. Put that where I need to put it. You know, let it do what it does. Let it sit. Then I blend ski. I blend a lot. I actually gotta stop doing that hard. Then I do Black Opal and... Lashes and shorty look good, period. TikTok made me buy it, beauty edition. I feel like every beauty guru has been trying NYX's marshmallow primer and the adorable packaging sold me. A little goes a long way, whoops. And it does smell like marshmallows. I loved it, y'all. The finish it gave my skin was a mix of hydrating and blurring, perfect for me because I typically mix two primers to achieve that. I've heard that Elf's Camo CC Cream is a dupe for IT Cosmetics, so let's put it to the test. I went with shade 310C, which is clearly too deep for me, but it'll shake out with concealer. I couldn't believe the coverage. One pump covered my entire face and it dried down to a satin finish. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually prefer to IT Cosmetics 
products and y'all once i get my right shade i think this is a new staple for me y'all gotta stop selling out products i want to try maybelline sky high mascara is sold out almost everywhere but i found it at walgreens and here is one coat two coats and yep i went for a third this legitimately might be my new favorite mascara insane length without getting clumpy or weighing your lashes down y'all had to guess that nyx's shine loud would be included i had to try it you apply the base coat first and let it dry for 90 seconds before applying the gloss and there's no color transfer for 16 hours it passed the kiss test or should i say the mask test do you have perfect eyebrows ah well let me show you with this a cute tip if you're a beginner in makeup you should follow me I've been using this trick since middle school and trust me, these two get along just fine. First, let me zoom. Huh? So I first get the Q-tip and where my eye ends at an angle, I just place it right there and I mark it. And then I mark where my eye starts, not my eyebrow, where my eye starts right here and I mark it. Next, in a straight line where my eye ends, not an angle, but a straight line, I mark that right there. Next, I place the Q-tip right in the middle of my face and I line up and that should be my highest point right there. If you saw my first video, you already know, connect the dots, short strokes, always darker on the end, three hairs, blend. Try not to comb out the ends too much, but focus on the front. Last step, clean it up. Congratulations, you have decent brows. Follow for more. The only thing I hate more than watching a scary movie is watching a scary movie that my friends told me beforehand isn't even that scary. And then I watched the movie and it's scary as shit. And I'm looking at them like, are you dumb or are you stupid? So the movie we watched was called Gerald's Game. I'm not gonna spoil it for those who haven't seen it, but there's this creature human type thing called the Moonlight Man. Bruh scared the living hell out of me so we finished the movie and i literally have to go sleep in my friend's room because i'm scared to sleep in my room by myself i'm looking at my friend saying we gotta stop calling this nigga the moonlight man we gonna start calling him travis can't be scared of a nigga named travis i kid you not from 5 a.m to 6 a.m i was staring at the wall waiting for travis i would hear a little sound and be like stop playing with me travis I may be the 5, 4, 3, and 2, but I am not the mother effing 1, sir. Let me tell you something about this right hand, Travis. You don't want it. You don't want it, good sir. You don't want it. However, I'm still high-key scared and have been awake for 48 hours. Walmart Beauty must have under $5. If you struggle getting a smooth, vibrant eyeshadow application that lasts all day, you should definitely try the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. Maybelline's Clear Mascara is perfect for taming flyweight and baby hairs. It's also great for natural makeup days. TikTok made me buy the NYX Butter Gloss, and bitch, I'm not disappointed. It's super long-lasting, and I'm sure you'll find your perfect nude. Well, let me show you. This here is called a lash separator, and it's going to change your lash life. First step, curl your lashes. Let's hold it on here about 30 seconds. This right here, my favorite mascara. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift, and I use waterproof because it's actually going to hold that curl a lot better. I'm going to zoom you out so you can see how I'm holding the wand, and what I'm going to do is kind of wiggle it in here and start to roll it through. Rolling it is actually going to grab all of those little lashes and coat every single one. All right, we have on our first coat of mascara. We're gonna start to kind of comb through. The safest way is to shut your eye and just kind of wiggle it upwards. Coat two, roll it through. This is where you'll start to see clumps and this is where it really comes in handy. Just kind of keep pulling it through. Look at that. Now I'm just holding the lashes up so they set nice and lifted. Same thing under here. Run, don't walk. Tips when it comes to makeup from a washed up Sephora employee. Number one, don't put a cream product over a powder. It'll cause the product to separate and it'll ruin your entire makeup. Number two, be careful drenching your face with setting spray because getting your skin too wet will also disrupt your makeup. And numero three, wash your brushes regularly because that can be a leading reason to blackheads, whiteheads, or any acne. I need to take my own advice. <laughs> numero four, don't put lashes on right after you apply the glue. I usually prop up the lashes and then do my mascara and eyeliner and then I put them on. You gotta wait for the glue to get tacky so it doesn't move and it stays all day. Mistakes to avoid when doing makeup, part 10. You apply mascara on your top lashes before your bottom. When you do this, you cause mascara to smudge on your eyelids. Using the wrong applicator for foundation. A brush adds the most coverage compared to a sponge and your fingers. Black for part 11.
Beat it up like <laughs> Viral makeup, worth the hype. The e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer is everything Shape Tape wishes it was. It's full coverage, yet so skin-like. If you're looking for a beautiful full coverage foundation that's hydrating and has SPF, you need to try the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. It is an exact dupe for the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. The NYX Shine Loud Lipsticks are truly transfer-proof, however, they don't stain your lips and are easily removed with any makeup remover. Oh, I could never take that long to do my makeup. I just do my makeup in 10 minutes and I go. I know, Karen. I know. I can tell. Here is a super classic three-step eyeshadow look. You need a light, shimmery or not, a medium, matte, and a dark matte. First, take the medium matte shade and a big fluffy brush and run this back and forth in the crease of your eye. If you have hooded eyes, just do this with your eyes open. Build that up until you're happy with it and you could even stop here for a simple defined eye look. Or if you want, take the light shade, shimmery or not, and put this all over your eyelid to add a little bit more brightness. I like to take it into the inner corner too. Again, you could stop after the second step if you wanted. For the most intensity, take the dark shade and create a little V on the outer corner of your eye, how I'm doing here. You'll need a little bit more of a precise brush for this and then fill that V in. When you've built it up to where you're happy with it, go back with your first fluffy brush and just run over this so there's no harsh lines. Now you finish off the look with mascara, eyeliner, lashes, whatever you want. The great thing about this is you can switch out the colors for whatever you want as long as you have a light. This boy came up to me today and he was like, Collins, I heard you were talking shit about me. I said, yes, I was. <laughs> He's like, oh, really? I'm like, yeah. Did you think I was going to lie? No, I was talking mad shit about you. You and your girlfriend. Fuck both of y'all. <laughs> He's like, okay, so what's up? You want to fight? I said, fight who? Oh, no, sweetheart. I'm a bad bitch. I don't fight. I press charges. What the fuck do I look like putting my hands on someone? Girl, we can fight in court. You can fight my lawyer. I mean, we can fight financially. <laughs> but not with these hands, no ma'am. If you're bad at makeup or don't know where to start, this video is for you. Always start with the sunscreen. I love this tinted one by Sunbum. Find a foundation that you love that works with your skin. These are my favorites and Sephora can help you color match. Start light. I love to use a brush or a beauty blender to even everything out. Lightly applying a concealer under the eyes or on spots helps to brighten the face. This bronzer comes with a brush and is amazing for contouring and defining. Apply on cheekbones, forehead, and eyelids for a sun-kissed glow. I buff out the bronzer and add blush on the high points of my cheekbones and add a minimal highlighter. I love this all-in-one palette. Add some setting powder. If brows intimidate you, try brushing them up with a tinted gel. Using this bronzer as an eyeshadow and a brown liner to define the lash line. Smudging out the liner creates a less perfect natural look. Try applying your mascara to the outer lashes for an elongated eye. Doing a simple nude lip with this Revlon lipstick that matches my natural lip color. And that's it. I hope this helps.